Les objectifs du développement durable sont le Sustainable Development Goals are a result of the process of globalization. In fact, their birth can be traced back to the end of the 90s, well before the declaration in the year 2000 that launched the Millennium Objectives for Development which are the parents of today's SDGs, and the grandparents are, can be traced back to the roots of cooperation and development. The Berlin Wall has just fell, and in a sense, public aid uh, to development was finding, looking for a new raison d'être, because it had been essentially borne by uh, the anti-Soviet containment policy implemented by uh, the Western governments during the Cold War. So once the Berlin Wall had fell, uh, there was uh, uh, no longer the need to uh, pay uh, friendly regimes to stop the advance of communism. So new targets emerged, not only international solidarity, which has always existed since the uh, very beginning. And within the OECD, the Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development, the uh, stakeholders of uh, foreign aid uh, tried to mobilize their public opinion to show that the aid was valuable from a moral and spiritual and social point of view, but also was useful and effective. Hence the idea that was born within these organizations and that was uh, promoted uh, by USAID to determine goals, objectives, targets. And this resulted in a report dated 1996, which projects itself into the early 21st century and suggests a number of indicators that can be found almost uh, in extenso as the Millennium Goals for Development a few years later by the UN General Assembly. During that period, in parallel, the UN were also, was also looking to mobilize international public opinion to the benefit of development. The idea that emerged within the OECD seemed uh, legitimate and interesting, and the United Nations, the Secretary General of the United Nations, suggested that it should be universalized, no, not only common goals for the rich OECD countries, but for the entire planet, which is uh, how, after extensive work in the Secretariat General, in the year 2000, the Millennium Development Declaration was born with six initial goals created by the OECD, but also two additional goals uh, concerning inclusive growth and partnerships, which gave rise to these uh, Millennium Development Goals. The kickoff was uh, rather discreet. The declaration is a political act with no constraints, and only a few instruments seem to have ownership of what is a, a rather a technocratic process uh, concerning uh, foreign aid agencies, setting objectives for developing countries, and funded by the industrial, industrialized countries. And very shortly after, in 2003, Jeff Sachs produced a major report about funding of development based on the Millennium Goals to uh, try and understand what the efforts of the international community should be. And in a sense, the beast uh, escapes its handler. International public opinion and NGOs thought that these objectives were interesting because they expressed a form of consensus about the direction that one must take in order to obtain results in terms of development to build a fairer global society, more sustainable society, and uh, justice, equity, and sustainability are increasingly included in the moral and political discourse. And the governments, too, seize upon this, and particularly in developed countries, in developing countries, where they see a manner of uh, finding funders and showing these funders that the path to these millennium objectives 
now that they international standards and deserve funding from these governments and from the government agencies concerned. So aid gradually uh, starts talking about these uh, objectives, these goals, and it becomes a kind of lingua franca for all of the stakeholders in the world of development. The movement grows stronger year after year, and after 2010, the question arises of uh, knowing whether something else will emerge after the Millennium Goals. And the Secretariat General of the UN launched another major panel, the high level panel for the development agenda after 2015, entrusted uh, under the authority of three presidents to imagine what could come after these SDGs. And after broad consultations with civil society, governments, experts in development, a massive amount of work resulted in a new report, new guidelines, suggesting a set of new goals to follow the Millennium Objectives. And now they are the SDGs, the Sustainable Development Goals, validated by the General Assembly. What does the report say? It says that the point is not only to set objectives for developing countries, but for the entire planet. And both rich and poor countries have their own problems, their own global problems, their local poverty, and that all of these problems must be addressed together and by everyone. And what the report also says, and it expresses the majority opinion of civil society and international organizations, is that growth and the main player of social progress and environmental progress is not transfer, public aid or private aid, but economic growth. So the report talks about growth first and foremost, and the purpose of growth in eliminating poverty. It also discusses inclusion, redistribution, and sustainability of growth. And sustainability is crucial in this report and recognizes the fact that since the year 2000, there has been the Rio summit, there has been an international cycle of uh, initiatives uh, in favor of the environment, of biodiversity, and that it's become central in the uh, political, social, and economic agenda globally. So, one cannot imagine the world without talking about governance, proper governance, and civil liberties. And in a sense, that is the uh, product of a world after the Berlin Wall fell, a world that can freely discuss issues of uh, civil liberties and human rights, although there are authoritarian regimes still in place on Earth. The work was also uh, relaunched by the UN General Assembly, resulted in two years of negotiations between governments, and the product of these two years was in fact very similar to what the report had suggested. So a broad consensus already existed within society and governments to formulate a kind of a global goal, a global target for the planet, a single purpose of what we are to do uh, to make the world better and eliminate poverty by 2030, a slogan evoked in the 2013 report. Let's, have, let's leave no one behind in industrialized nations or in poorer countries. And after these two years of discussion and after uh, much debate, these uh, SDGs emerged and uh, are imposed upon every government, every public and private stakeholder. And in comparison to the Millennium Goals, it's a, a huge progress, a transformation of the paradigm. It no longer redistribution, but growth, environment, environmental issues, and not only economic growth, efforts by all, contribution of the private sector, not just public aid and civil society. Two topics remain outside of the negotiations, importantly. First of all, that of culture. Culture 
remains a kind of a blind spot in these international discussions, and maybe that will be the object of a future cycle of discussion. And also economic liberties, civil liberties, human rights are not evoked, citizens' rights are not evoked. This construction effort of these uh, SDGs should have been based on rights, on the rights of humans, but also the rights of the natural world. Uh, rights uh, were avoided in the report uh, because uh, some of the most powerful regimes in the UN General Assembly are authoritarian. What is striking in uh, the evolution of these SDGs is the ambition of convergence, of uh, inclusiveness to transform the planet, a kind of quest for unity and consistency, which is very different uh, from uh, the world's disruptions and the fragmentation that is happening uh, towards the end uh, of uh, this decade within the UN, within the European Union, difficulties to find international consensus about the environment and also the potential neutering of the Paris Accords. So it's an extraordinary difficult period in, through which emerges a strong determination to work together to save the planet, to improve it, and uh, to make it become somewhere where we can do much better than merely survive, but live better.